Uh, time for the second of the Paul Moore's finals in there. This is a four mile, three and a half ver version, and it's over the Grand National course. Of course, it's virtually the same as the Grand National. It's a Grade Three handicap, and the top one is Sunday Mock for Thomas Rogers, Debanche Man, Alex Cherry, Verge for James Shea, Midget Camera, and River Time for David Robertson. Nearly done that. Derek Hinton, National Pastime, and the National awaits Joshua Sutherland, Charlie Two, Thomas Rogers, Cart and Tantalus for Craig Allen, Simple Dutch for Paul O'Neill, Blooming Chaser for Darren. Thompson, Tambara for Paul Rhodes and Ingerbird for Darren Thompson just 14 in this end, pretty disappointing size field really, considering the amount of qualifiers we have for this, uh, there's a lot of other races they can go in as well of course, they've been called in and it's a fair old run to the first and a blooming chaser the grey is going to take them along maybe they've got to extend the number of horses that qualify first five or first six or something, I don't know but uh, be nice to see a bigger field in this, or maybe just have one final over four miles. Or anyway, Blooming Chase is in the lead as they cross the Melon Road and make their way down towards the first of the fences. It's exactly the same course as the Grand National. All the fences taken in exactly the same order in exactly the same place. And Cartan Tantalus gets to it in the lead. I don't expect any of the first fence carnage that you used to see. And they're all safely over the first and making their way down towards the second. They skip over the second. And they're all safely over that. Anybody's interested in going down to, I'll tell you later. They're coming down towards the third of the fences down. This is the big ditch. And Cartan Tantalus comes to it in the lead. So Cartan Tantalus is over in front. Midget Camera second. Then Blooming Chaser and Sunday Mott after that one. Then Simple Dutch and Tambar and National Awaits is also nicely placed. Those River Tyre and Inga Bird Verge. Of course, it was the favourite in the Grand National, but Fellies on the inside, and they take the fourth, which they're all safely over, and you can see there, down in the distance, is the Beaches Brook, just two fences away. They come down to the fifth, and the one before Beaches, and it's Cartan Tantalus, who's in the lead, from Blooming Chaser in second, and they get to this fifth, and a mistake there by Simple Dutch. The Bancher Man is just the back marker as they make their way towards this Beaches Brook, heavily modified, of course, in recent years. If you want to see what it used to look like, watch some of the old footage on YouTube from the 40s, the, well, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s, and even the 70s, as they take Beaches Brook. It was a pretty monstrous looking fence back in those days, and Cartan Tantalus leads over it, they're all safely over it, and the leader leads by about six to Blooming Chaser in second, Verge is third, now they come to the one after Beaches, and he's gone! Cartan Tantalus has gone, so too has Sunday Mott, so the smallest fence on the course causes trouble again, as it did all those years ago, when Foyne Avon won, of course, and quite such a big pile up this time as they make their way down towards the canal turn. And Verge is now the leader from Blooming Chaser in second. Tambar is third as they try and cut the corner and get round the and save a bit of ground there and race down towards Valentine's Brook. Another one that's not quite as big as it used to be, but Verge is just about the leader. It probably looks plenty big enough to him at the moment. Blooming Chaser is second, Simple Dutch is third, then Tambor on the National Awaits, then National Pastime, River Times after that one, then Nelly doing that, and Ned Midget Cameron, Charlie Two, Inga Bird, and finally Dementia Man. We've got 12 left standing as they take the 10th. And over the 10th they all go with Blooming Chaser in grey on the inside, Simple Dutch the grey on the outside, and Verge the green jacketed horse between them as they come to this next ditch and he's gone Verge has gone again and so too has Tambara so we've lost another couple there then and we're probably getting more fallers in this than we got in the Grand National aren't we but Blooming Chase is in the lead then from Simple Dutch and Verge just obviously doesn't like these fences as they take the 12th and the remaining 10 of them are all safely over that one then with a pair of greys in the lead Simple Dutch and Blooming Chaser as they come across the Melon Road again then and make their way down towards what will be the final two fences next time round and Simple Dutch is in the lead Blooming Chaser is in second River Tyne is in third then the National Awaits is four Magic Camera is five Nelly Dunn that is six then Charlie two National Pastime Inga Bird and finally Debanche around then as the crowd wave them by and they race down towards the two fences in the straight which are followed by the chair and the water jump right in front of the big crowd so Simple Dutch is in the lead then from Blooming Chaser in second, River Tyne is third, National Awaits is fourth, then Midget Cameron nearly done that, Charlie two, National Pastime Debanche Man and Inga Bird and they're the only ones left in it as they come to this next one then, which they all get over nicely this time well, Inga Bird 
is now the back marker as they race away on this next one. This will be the final fence on the next circuit. And Simple Dutch is in the lead, but now being joined by the National Awaits. And if the National does await for him, he's going to wait till next season. They pop over that one, and that's the 14th. It'll be the last next time round. It's Simple Dutch in the lead. The National Awaits is second. Midget Camera's third. They're all starting to level up to get a good position there towards the chair. And it's Simple Dutch and the National Awaits as we get a long shot of them racing towards this big formidable obstacle right in front of the stand it's simple dutch the grey takes it in the lead national awaits jumps it better midget cameras over it third they're all over the chair okay and now racing down towards the water jump and then there'll be one more complete circuit of the entry track and they come to the water then and the national awaits leads over it from simple dutch who's in second and then midget cameras third national pastime is fourth blooming chase is fifth then nelly done that then to bunch and then charlie two and then river tyne and then inga bird is the back marker as they swing out to do it all again then for another circuit of this entry track and we've got 10 left we lost four on the first circuit how many are going to get round on the second the national awaits in the lead simple dutch is second midget camera is third blooming chaser is about three lengths back in fourth then comes the pink jacketed nelly done that and then comes national pastime and debancha man and then charlie two and then riverbird and Inga Bird at the back, but they're coming down towards the, what's the first last time round. Then they're being preceded by a loose horse. That's Kartan Tantalus, who's been in the lead all the way around without a jockey. And the National Awaits will come to it in the lead. Gets over it nicely. A better jump though by Simple Dutch. Blooming Chaser made a mistake towards the back. Inga Bird is about three lengths off the rest of them. But it's Simple Dutch and the National Awaits coming out of the second. Over that one they go. Slightly obscured by the ambulance. But they're all safely over it. And Simple Dutch is in the lead then. Coming out of this big ditch then. Number three the first time round. It's a big ditch. It normally takes a few. And Simple Dutch is in the lead. The National Awaits is second. Midget Camera is third. Then comes Nelly done that after that one. And there's a fall gone at the back there. This time it's River Tyne that's gone. So that big third fence there, that big ditch, always causes problems. They come down towards the fourth now. This is just an ordinary plain looking fence and they take that one. And there's another one down. There's another one gone there. National Pastime has gone this time as well. So we've lost six now then as they come down to the one before Beaches. And it's the National Awaits in the lead. Simple Dutch is second. Midget Camera is third. Blooming Chaser four. Then Debancha Man over that one. Then Nelly done that. And then Charlie two. And then Inga Bird. And that's all that's left in it as they race down towards Beaches Brook for the final time this season. The National Awaits is in the lead. Simple Dutch is second, Midget Camera third, Blooming Chaser four, then a gap back to Debancha Man and Charlie two as we see them take Beaches preceded by the Loose Horse and over that one they go and they're all safely over Beaches Brook and now racing down towards the Foynhaven fence which I always say shouldn't even be called the Foynhaven fence because it was pop them down that caused all the problems all those years ago by running across the fence. And they pop over then the Foynhaven fence as it's now called, the National Oates is second, Blooming Chaser is third, Simple Dutch is after that one, then Midget Camera, Charlie two, Debancha man nearly doing that inga burden that's all that are left in it as they come down towards the canal turn the canal turn is next then cartan tantas looks like he wants to run out but he's decided to jump over it instead and there's another one gone down there now simple dutch the long time leader has crashed out of the canal turn this is like a race round here in the 60s all over again it's blooming chaser left in the lead from the national awaits in second charlie two's third as they take valentine's over that one they all go when I say they all go, there's only seven of them left and they're racing down towards the next now. They've only got a few more to take. They've got about four more to take. This is the 26th and over that one, Blooming Chaser lands in the lead from Charlie 2 in second. Then in third place comes National Awaits. Gap back to Midget Camera. Then Deban Shaman nearly done that and Inga Bird. 27th fence coming up. This is the fourth from home. Over it they go. It's the final ditch and Blooming Chaser gets over it in the lead from Charlie 2 in second. The National Awaits third, Deban Shaman four. Then Nelly done that and Inga Bird. These are the only ones left as they race towards the final three fences then. And over that one, a good jump by Blooming Chaser in the lead. But Charlie 2 is closing. Here comes Midget Camera and Debancha Man. It's probably between these four as the National Awaits. He's looking a bit one pace, but he's trying to stick on. Inga Bird's gone past Nelly done that. They go over the Van Mellon Road for the final time. And they start that turn towards the final two fences. And then the big long running. And Debancha Man has now hit the front from Midget Camera in second. 
The grey blooming chaser is trying to stick on. The national awaits is trying to run on. So too is Ingerbird. Charlie too looks to be going well as well. Nelly done that. Looks like the only one who's totally out of it. They coming down towards the final two fences now then. And Dean Bansha man in the orange sleeves is in the lead from Midget Camera in second. The national awaits is trying to get closer in third. Blooming chase has now been passed by Charlie too. But these two are having a ding dong at the second last. Over it they go. It's Midget Camera in the lead. But the national awaits is now beginning to make ground. So too is Charlie too. There's only one more fence to go. Midget Camera in the lead for David Robertson. Midget Camera comes towards this final fence then with a lead of two and a half lengths from De Bansherman in second. Over the final fence he goes. They're all over it okay. It's Midget Camera who's now racing towards the elbow with a lead of three lengths being chased by De Bansherman. Charlie too is trying to eat up the ground. The National Awaits has got nothing left. Blooming Chase has got nothing left. It's Midget Camera who's clear. Midget Camera clear by four. Midget Camera clear by five. Racing past the chair, racing up towards the final half furlong in this Paul Moore's final and Midget Camera's going to take it for David Robertson, up towards the line it's Midget Camera who takes an action back Paul Moore's final, close for second Dimension Man and Charlie 2 and then National Awaits and Nelly Dunn that and Blooming Chaser and finally Inga Bird and what an exciting final race in the Paul Moore series then we might not have had a particularly big field but we maybe we didn't need one because it was Pretty exciting stuff, and Midget Camera <laughs> took it pretty cosily in the end in a thrills and spills race, which saw carnage for a lot of the race. But Midget Camera, the 25 to 1 winner, takes it from the favourite Debuncher Man, Charlie Two Third. Let's get a full list then of the positions. It's Midget Camera for David Robertson, a thrilling winner. De Bancher Man for Alex Cherry was second. Charlie Two for Thomas Rogers was third. The National OH Joshua Sutherland was fourth. Nelly done that for Derek Hinton was fifth. Look at all those fallers. Uh, action pack race and hopefully we'll see quite a few of these back next season for a tilt at the Grand National proper and maybe even another go at the Paul Moore's final.